Hi, welcome to this King Cash on Ruby Hash. We'll play with the hash uh, data structure and we'll see uh, what uh, reject and some of the um, methods uh, you might use in Rails uh, web application development. Also, we'll see the concept of rehash. Okay, so let's get started. Hash is a class for collection of key value pairs. So uh, let's say I have a hash. It's a collection indexed by arbitrary type of objects. Enumerable module is included in it. Now, this uh, this array type of uh, this syntax is actually a class method. And you can also just use the hash.new. For instance, you can just say hash dot new and provide <coughs> a default value in the constructor. So if I say something key which doesn't exist, I try to access the value of a key that doesn't exist, it will return the default value which is 1. It says something other than one. It says the default value is ten. Now you can instantiate hash in this way, and you can also use the class method like this. This is a class method. So what would happen in this case if you print the hash? So the first element is the key. Second one is the value, the third element is the key, and the fourth element is its value. So and so on, it keeps going. So this is a class method, and as you saw, you can access the values by indexing. Okay, if I want to access the value of the key one, I use that syntax to get the value corresponding to the key value one. So it now you can also initialize the values for instance I want to initialize the key 1 to something else and when I access it again it's going to print 10 this time and also I can clear everything in the hash by calling clear and that will clear out everything in the hash And there is also a method if you have hash uh, like I had before new with some default value you can also access the default value by calling the default method and you can also set the default value by doing this Uh, I can say foo that will return four this time. So that's all fine, but uh, most of the time when you're working with hashes, you run into situations where you have to work with hashes such that you have to reject some elements based on certain criteria. So you would pass in to the block and you might have certain criteria. When this block returns true, that value will be rejected. So let's say I have a hash with for the key is one, I want to reject it. And let's print the value of the hash after rejecting it. What happened here? It's H it did not modify you can use the in place if you want to modify the actual thing so that would be modified otherwise what you can do is since it does not actually change the actual hash you can capture the returned element and then print it 
that gives you the actual results. So there are two ways to go about this. The bang version will modify the hash in place. And I want to cover another important uh, concept before wrapping up this. And let's experiment. Let's say I have an array. Uh, the key can be any arbitrary object. In this case, I'm going to use array as a key to the hash. So let's say hash x, the array, is going to have a value of 10, for instance. Let's print this access the value for the key x and it prints 10. And later on in the program, I have to modify the value of the array. Let's say the first element I'm changing it to 5. Okay, so if I print the value of x that array is now changed to 5 comma 2 okay so what would happen if I try to access the value for the key x in the hash oh it returns no so how can I say I want to have the new array phi comma 2 to have the value of 10. That's where the function rehash comes into a picture. So if you do a rehash and then if you do access the value for the key hex which is an array, now you see the value it knows it can print access the value now of the ch modified hash. So the rehash basically rebuilds the hash. If a hash isn't uh, rebuilt after one of its key values is changed, that key will no longer be accessible as you saw in this example. So it's good to know this concept and it will save you uh, troubleshooting and chasing bugs. So that's it for the screencast and if you enjoyed it, please recommend me on working with trails. God bless.